diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me actually a free agent. Um, his name is Will Gregg. He is a tight end out of Pittsburgh and formerly from Arkansas. Uh, how's it going, sir? That's all good, man. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Um, I mean, again, I, I kind of mentioned a little bit, uh, you know, he had a little bit of a journey going through Arkansas first, um, but let's just kind of step back a little bit. I mean, just kind of uh, give me a brief summary of your career, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, man. Coming out of high school, uh, I was a recruited guy, um, four-star tight end. I think I was ranked among the top five tight ends coming out uh, in my class. Um, Could have gone anywhere, decided to stay home. I knew I was a home. I knew I was a Razorback from the time that I was a kid. So, you know, I was going to the Razorback following my brother's footsteps that, you know, he played up there before me. Um, got up there, got up there, uh, red-shirted my first year, sat behind uh, Hunter Henry, Jeremy Sprinkle, two NFL high quality tight end. Um, came back uh, my sophomore year. Um, had a couple catches, didn't play as much as I wanted to. I uh, had a couple games, good games against uh, LSU, Missouri, Mississippi State. Um, graduated. Thought, man, I think it's time, you know, time for a change. Coach Brett Bielema, who had recruited me, had gotten um, let go um, that off season. And, you know, I just felt like it was time for new scenery. I love the University of Arkansas, love being a Razorback, love growing up a Razorback. But, you know, I had to just, you know, try something new. Uh, got my degree, and that's when I went to the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, got up there, we, 2018, we made it to the ACC championship, had a pretty decent year. Uh, we run heavy, had uh, running back get drafted, two real good uh, running backs, fullback. Um, Fast forward to senior year, we um, we were pretty decent. We're eight and five. Uh, got a bowl win. I had a pretty good year, and so um, here we are now. I um, was into last year's draft. Uh, COVID kind of really messed up my pro day. Um, got canceled before I could really showcase what I could do. Um, talk with a few teams, um, but yeah, I'm still waiting on the shot. So, I mean, I, again, like you said, I mean, you you were you came out for last year's draft, um, which I think for a lot of guys, not just yourself, but for a lot of guys that really um, hit them hard because of COVID, you know, pro days being shut down. Um, and so it sounds like you're actually going to get yourself another shot um, because, um, you know, you're able to attend the, the pro day there at, uh, at Pittsburgh. Um, so um, when when is that uh, scheduled for right now? Uh, March seventeenth. Okay, so March seventeenth, um, you're going to be out there playing with some of your uh, you know former teammates. Um, so do you have any goals or any um, aspirations for what you're trying to uh, get accomplished that day? Uh, just showcasing what I can do to the best of my ability, showing that I'm a big tight end that can run. I look bigger. Um, in person than I do on film, I feel like. And that's a thing that a lot of teams need to see in person. Uh, I play big, play physical, that I can really move. Uh, I want to show uh, my own field abilities with my routes, my breaks, uh, show my hands, and um, just run good and, you know, test good. So I, I feel like I'm real comfortable and I'm excited for what's to come. So tell me a little bit about you as a football player. I mean, uh, what kind of a tight end do you see yourself being? I mean, are you mainly a blocking tight end? Do you see yourself as an H-back? I mean, maybe what have you done and maybe what, how you would project yourself to the next level? Oh, uh, man, I would label me as probably as versatile as it gets. I've lined up in line. I've lined up uh, in the backfield at fullback. I've lined up, you know, at the F tight end on the wing. I've lined up as the slot receiver and the number one receiver. So I feel like, you know, I got, I can catch with the best of them, you know, if you just go check the film on that. And um, I feel like a lot of people don't just have a traditional in-line tight end that enjoys blocking, that can take on, you know, a DN or a Sam linebacker off the edge. I feel like I can do that. And also I can lead in the run game, lead in the backfield, you know, for the full, as a fullback for the running back. So I feel like I'm a, I can do it all pretty versatile type of guy. 
And what about on special teams? I mean, because obviously guys like you, I mean, you go out there and, you know, you're usually given a, a pretty good role there on special teams. Uh, walk me through some of your experience in that regard. Oh, man, I've been on punt um, as the guard. I've been the PP at punt, you know, enjoyed both of those. You know, you punt, you get to, you know, block as a tight end and then get to sprint down as a, you know, as if you were a linebacker. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I played on punt return, kickoff return, kickoff, you know, just sprinting. I feel like I have experience on all, you know, aspects, field goal, field goal block. I've been on it all. So, you know, I feel like that's a real crucial part of my game. And I really would like to, you know, display that. Great. So, um, I mean, if people don't already know, I mean, your um, your brother, Chris, did have a, his uh, his time in the league. I mean, he played for the Bills for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, has he kind of helped you a little bit, of, you know, with this process? I mean, have you, has he given you any you know, advice pointers about um, either your pro day or, you know, getting into the league at all? I mean, uh, what sort of advice um, did you get, have you gotten from him? Oh, man, he's been my right-hand man through it all. You know, he's guided me, you know, through the whole process, which, you know, is a little different from his. He was drafted in the 2013-2014 draft or 20, yeah, one of those drafts. He's drafted, you know, a seventh round. And, you know, he's, my experience is a little different from his, but He's just, you know, keeping me grounded, telling me to keep going, you know, telling me to, you know, don't give up and, you know, really preparing me for what's to come, you know, preparing me, showing me how to take care of my body, you know, as if I was, you know, a guy that was coming out this year. So he's been in my ear the whole time, man. I couldn't ask for a better mentor. So uh, let's just kind of step back a little bit because it you know, might have been a little while, but I mean, obviously we could probably still pull up some good film on you in college. Um, tell me maybe about some of the best moments you had on the field. Um, you know, maybe one of the best memories that you've had uh, as a football player um, so that we can go back and kind of look at that film. So what's one of those games that we need to turn on for you? Uh, if you want an early guy, um, 2017 LSU game. I was a, you know, red shirt uh, sophomore, I believe, going out there and playing. It was um, unbelievable NFL talent on the field. Uh, Devin White was who I was focused on mostly because that's who, you know, that was the big guy that they were, you know, preaching about all week. Um, came out, blocked him. I had probably three or four receptions as a breakout game, you know, as a as a tight end. As a young guy, you make, you know, a couple big plays, you know, you feel yourself a little bit. And that was really my first time getting to display it to, you know, the whole state of Arkansas, the, you know, what I had to show. So in a big time moment, a big time robbery game as an early young cat, that was, that was a good experience. And, uh, as recent for Pitt, I would say when we beat UCF um, to end their 27-game regular win streak uh, a couple years ago at Pittsburgh, I had a real good game, uh, blocked in line outside, um, you know, displayed the hands. Um, also, North Carolina that year, 2019, at home, was a Thursday night game, um, made some big plays, blocked, made some good blocks, uh, sprung a couple guys open. So, you know, any of those games, really, I feel like my resume just speaks for itself. Great. So, I mean, uh, the the recent thing that you were able to do was actually go down um, to Texas. Um, mm -hmm. You were a part of a free agent, um, you know, event with, for the uh, College Gridiron Showcase. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, I guess it was a free agent Gridiron Showcase. I don't know how, yeah. how to have that, but um, <laughs> tell, tell me a little bit about that experience and, and you know, what you did at, at that event. Uh, it was it was a great experience. We um, did on field drills with you know former players or former coaches. Um, it was a real good experience. We ran routes with different free agent quarterbacks. Uh, we did uh, countless drills, um, and I just got to display what I could do. I felt like I put on a great performance. Uh, show my speed, show my flexibility, show my hands, show you know my inline blocking ability, and it was just a you know good thing to get on tape. Get on tape for sure. So, I mean, um, I, I don't know, if, uh, did, were you able to talk to any scouts down there? Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, we weren't able to scout, uh, talk to scouts. We just, uh, they were in the height and weight room, you know, see us, you know, come in, walk, get our height and weight, and things like that. Gotcha. Well, I mean, hopefully, you know, through this interview, I mean, people that might be interested will get to know you a little bit more. Um, so, um Help them get to know you just a little bit more, man. What kind of uh, guy is Will Gregg outside of football? I mean, what are you into? What do you What do you like? Um, some of your, you know, any of your interests, hobbies that you want to share? Go for it. 
Oh, man, outside, I just like uh, having a good time. I like the outdoors, man. I come from Arkansas. You know, we do a lot of hunting and fishing in our free time. So anytime we get a chance to do that, we're on the water in a deer stand. So we just we just love that type of things. Uh, riding four-wheelers, just being with my friends, you know, just being enjoying family time. My family owns, like, um, farmland, so we go out there, get the four-wheelers up, just, you know, do whatever we can, and just spending time with them. Oh, really? It definitely sounds fun. I, I, I think that would be great just to, you know, get out and ride that. Um, sure. So, uh, Will, I just want to ask you this one question. You know, if you were able to give your younger self just a tidbit of advice to, um, you know, prepare him for the next five or six years of his life, um, uh, what, what would you tell a, a younger William? Uh, just attack the grind head on. You know, don't take any days off. You know, just go in every day expecting you know, great results and expecting to be great and, you know, just appreciate everything that's around you. Great. Um, usually at this point in the interview, I just kind of want to give you the opportunity to, to give some shout outs to people, um, you know, whether it be coaches, teammates. Um, uh, obviously, I want to give you the opportunity to shout out the place that you've been training at. Um, mm -hmm. but go for it, man. Who you want to give a little bit of love to? Uh, first and foremost, you know, God, my family. Uh, my brother, I want to give a shout out to uh, Michael Johnson Performance, uh, B Mac, uh, Jessica down there at MJP, uh, B Mo, um, you know, the whole strength staff down there. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to uh, JT Barrett. He was the former quarterback from Ohio State. He's been down here, you know, getting me right and, you know, kept potentially throwing with me. And I actually played with him in the spring league. I don't know if you uh, kept up with that. It was the spring league um, back in November. We were on the same team. And, you know, he's just been a guy that I could, you know, turn to and just just been through what I'm going through. So it's been good to have him, you know, as a different aspect and a guy in my corner. So I just those are the guys that's, you know, been keeping me right. Great. Uh, definitely. Definitely remember Barrett there. I mean, very, uh, you know, just exciting player to watch um, there at Ohio State. Um, so uh, one of the questions I ask everybody, man, um, is the whole why question, you know, um, why did you maybe start playing football? Or why are you playing now? Maybe what motivates you uh, as a player? Uh, man, just my family, man. Just continuing the tradition. Like you said, my brother was, you know, played in the league. And, you know, it's just a dream that I've been wanting to accomplish for since I could remember, man. I remember my first time picking up a football was when I was in, you know, second grade, you know, on the Friday night lights outside, you know, just being a fan of the high school, the local high school team, you know, just looking up to those guys. And so just making my state and my, my family proud. Great. The very last thing I want to give you is just the opportunity to give, you know, all the teams in the league, anybody who might be interested, you know, just your pitch. Um, you know, why should they take a chance on you, bring you in? What kind of teammate would you be? Oh, man, you're going to get a guy that you want to go to the foxhole with, man, that can do anything you ask him to do, you know, doesn't mind, doesn't have an ego, just wanting to get a chance. They can play in line, in the backfield, outside receiver, anywhere on special teams, anywhere on field goal. I'm feeling up to, I'll just do anything that you ask me to do and just, you know, ready for whatever opportunity comes my way. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, uh, a tight end that um, is very versatile that you can move around, uh, you know, all over the place. I mean, uh, you know, these days it's kind of interesting the way teams are, are using tight ends because, I mean, usually you get a guy who is specifically out there to be that blocker, you know, kind of like you said. I mean, I think, uh, you know, Jeremy Sprinkle per pretty much been like, you know, that guy there, uh, you know, out in Washington where he's like, he's just out there like goal line, short yardage blocking and, and there's nothing wrong with it with having a guy like that. Um, but I mean, like you said, I mean, also being able to go out there on special teams and, and really contribute there, uh, certainly something people need to, you know, consider. Um, but um, hey, Will, um, I, I think it's great um, th that we had a chance to sit down and, and chit chat with each other. Um, um, and, um, you know, I guess March 17th is the big day here soon. I mean, you'll be out there, you know, at that pro day. I'm um, glad that you were able to actually get that pro day this this go around and wish you nothing but the best. So I mean, appreciate it. Thank you, man, for your time, Jimmy. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything you've done, man. I really do appreciate it. Cool. No problem. Um, again, this is Will Gregg, tight end out of Pittsburgh, formerly of Arkansas. Uh, thanks again. Thank you.